how she was a tomboy, played with boys around uh, his vicinity. And uh, yes, destiny says you have to play football. And that was how she took to football. Before then, she was racing. Yes, she was doing the 100 meters. The story of Anne Agumaru Chijine. She concludes the conversation with me right here on the show when we come back from this very short break. <laughs> Did you tell anybody? I did not. I did not tell anybody. I didn't know. But when I found out, it was late for me to start telling somebody. Mm. Because I had about just, uh, I think, I think about just uh, two, two, three, two games to go. So when I knew, because when I knew it was that, I just found out that I was, um, I, I don't have the appetite to eat again. You know, I was not eating very well. And I was in my room. My closet, maybe I vomit, you know, that kind of thing. So, but it was, it was not like it was disturbing me okay. or, I mean, some people will, some people will, I read it, there was a, an article I read, a German, it was, I think it was a German article. They said when the, when the, the players want to go and they want to, uh, maybe all this um, athletics, when they want to run or they want to do something very fast, they, they get pregnant. And when they get pregnant, then their hormone is always very high, mm. and they will used to do whatever they want to because it's not it's not that you're on drug. The thing is that it's just the risk. But it was and it was not an intentional act. But to them that know about it, it was intentional. It was not an intentional act for me. But when I got to know, it was late, and I cannot say I'm not going to keep for Nigeria. Mm. Nigeria was my all. It was my passion. It was everything, you know. So that was just all. That was just all. And Nigeria went on to win the African Women's we won. Women's Cup. With your former yeah, pregnancy. Yeah, in fact, it was a horrible experience. Wow. You know, we were playing and they were stoning, they were throwing stones on me. Wow. So when they throw the stone, I will run, I will pick them with butter, I'll pick, I'll come to the match come and I'll tell him, I'll tell him, look at, but they will ask me any blood, I'll tell no blood, say go back. I went back like two times, the third time. He saw, he saw it. And when I was running, he said, no, no, no. We didn't finish the game. Nigeria won. Cancel. They just, just stopped the game because they, are, they were about killing me. They were throwing stone. That was against who? After the game, <coughs> South Africa. That game was where? Which country was it? In South Africa. In South Africa. Wow. South Africa. We were playing wow. against South Africa. Wow. So after the game, the next day, their sports commissioner came to come and personally apologize to me that he saw what happened. The way they were throwing stone and bottles on me, and I was running from the post, running to the com match come. Match come will send me back again. Before I went, before I start pedaling back, they will start throwing. And I told him it was over. He was just apologizing the next day. So, but we thank God at least with all the all the pro all the troubles we came, we still won. That wow. was important thing. And, and please tell us, tell us about your husband. How did you meet you? Or how did he meet you? But it was just, I told you. We, we didn't know. He didn't know. It was like my friend, my both of us who play football. Mm. She she's a goalkeeper. I'm a goalkeeper. She lives in Kirikiri, and I live with my family in my dad in in Sul in um, Oshuji. So sometimes, and I have a club, Sido Angels, the training in Kirikiri. So all the way from Oshuji, I will come to Kirikiri to come and train. You know. So my husband said every time he's coming back from the from office. When he's inside his car, he's always seeing us, you know, please, who are these women that are playing football? Meanwhile, my girlfriend has been telling me that I'm going to meet this, my husband. I didn't know, you know. So one day, we went to his house. My girlfriend took me to my to my husband, my de then a friend house. Mm. So when we got there, and I looked at him, I told my friend, like, ah, this guy is fine, though. you know, children now, <laughs> you know. And my husband told my friend, too, so... But after my friend came to tell me one day that my husband said that's my my friend mm. wants to see me. Now I went and tell my my husband, which is my husband, my, my friend, that I said I'm coming to see him. Wow. So you know, <laughs> joining our head together. So I was going to see him. He was waiting for me to come. So by the time I said my friend said he wants, he said you said he wants to see me. Mm. So before I knew it, we just you know we just you know we came together so close. He comes to watch our training. And that was how he, he just uh, said he derived joy in watching me that I do extra. And that's it, I do extra. 
when I'm keeping, I do extra. I want to be the best at everywhere I am. I want to be the best. So that was just what fascinated, you know, what attracted him so much that I want to do, I want to do extra. And there's nothing like extra in this world. When you're doing things, do, do it to the best of your knowledge. Do it and do it very well. That's just the problem. So it was love at first sight. Yeah, that's 30 years ago now. So oh. I thank God for everything. Oh. There's something they said about Anna Gubano. They said Shakara Upo. <laughs> no hope, bros. <laughs> I know you saw me like this. I told you, I told you. I like, number one, I like dressing. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm into. Mm -hmm. I have a floating brand and it's finest touch. Mm -hmm. So, I, anywhere I want to go, anywhere I, want to, I want to be the best. I want to be in point. I want to be in point out. Look at her. That's, that's, that's why I have a floating brand. It's not about If I'm doing Shakara, if you call me now, bros, I won't answer. But it's not, no, you know. When you come close to me, you know that I'm not like that. Well, you are wearing, you are wearing, you are wearing a, was it a, a scarf? Why you were keeping? A bandana, yeah. A bandana. Yes, a bandana. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. No. I want Georgie Campos. Oh. I want Georgie Campos. Mm. And I like the way the spring, you know, he's very short. Yes. Not too tall, but the spring on his leg drive me crazy. So I said, if this man, very, very, very tall. Very yeah, short. Very short. Very short. Very short. Very short. Okay, very short. Can <laughs> live like this. Then me that is tall should be able to live higher than over higher. You know, when you see some people, some bookkeepers, they inspire you to do more. Mm. You know, yeah, that's that's just it. Which, uh, Shumaka, Shumaka, all yeah. those people, when you see them, you want to do more. That's just it. It's not about any other thing. Okay, so yeah. I should ask Anna Gumaru this question. And if I don't, that's fine. Said, does she even ask it at all? Like, did, did, did. I can't ask it, I ask it. Ah, why not, bro? I ask it. It's any time they see you, it's gin, 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 up and down. Maybe that's why. Right. <laughs> no, bro, so I have scared to, I have gown, I have everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, there's so much, but uh, we don't have plenty of time. Um, you are now a coach. At what point did you decide to become a coach? Ah, I was, uh, long time ago. I became coach about 15 years ago. Why? I had some... Oh, because that's my passion. I'm, I'm done with it. Let me try to... Let me try to implement... Uh, or let me try to give the girls what I have gotten. Let me see if I can help one or two of them to acquire more knowledge. You understand? That's why I, that's why I became a good, yes. And give the country back what they have given to me. Yeah. So far, so good. Yeah, yeah. You have coached club sides that, that I know. Now, you are the assistant national team coach of the Super Falcons. The how does that make you feel? Yeah. I feel great, bro. <laughs> I feel great. You know, it's not easy. Checking from your background, coming from the background I was, and then coming to where I am now. It's not, it's not an easy something. So, but I thank, I thank God that you gave me the grace. I know what I wanted. Okay. Uh, how long have you been an assistant coach of the national team in Super Falcons? Ah, it's been like 10 years. Oh, wow. I've been with you on the 17 Super Falcons and I'm still in Super Falcons now. Well, before I let you go, uh, it's been three Olympics. The Super Falcons did not go. That's 16 years ago. Uh, that's six years before you joined the national team set up. Um, would that be broken this year? Of course, bro. 16 years no Olympic. We have uh, we have arrived. We have uh, our team is intact and uh, um, this, this is a work of sport. So we don't have excuses. I trust uh, what we have here. They know why we, why they are here and they know the record already. So they two wants to go. They want to go to to the Olympics. So we're ready. No problem. We're ready. Just uh, what we need is your. We need you guys to support us. We need you. We can't even go. We can't do it alone. We need Nigeria to pray for us and God on our side. We will we'll do, we'll do it. We'll do it. Thank you very much, Anna. Good morning to you. Thank you for your time. God bless you, boss. Thank you. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What I have a challenge with is when they refer to the Super Falcons of Nigeria as former champions of African Women's Nations Cup. Are we going to regain her? Our number one spot with the return of Randy Wando, the coach of the Super Eagles of Nigeria. It's a big question. All I see, first thing first, qualify for the Olympics taking place in Paris starting in August. Then we'll talk about the African Nations Cup. Thank you so much. I'm Chejene Agumano.
goalkeeper of the Super Falcons of Nigeria, flamboyant goalkeeper in Adesa, staying with 26 for Nigeria. The story of how she was pregnant for four months and she did not know. But hey, she made it happen. She couldn't go back home. She was already at the Nations Cup when that news came. But she said, no going back. I'm going to see this straight. It was a big risk that was worth taking. The result of that four months pregnancy is a mechanical engineer today, the son of Anne Agumano Chejire. Thank you, Wanda, for being part of the show. My name is Godwin A. Nakela. Don't forget to keep praying for Nigeria. God bless Nigeria.